Hi everyone, Frank Halverson here with this week's KVGC Les Schwab Tire Pigskin Preview. When we come back, we'll look at the action from last Friday night, as well as preview this week one for Mother Load League League Games, so stay tuned. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks! Thanks for not just selling me tires. Thanks for running out to my car to greet me. Like, running, running. Thanks for checking my brakes for free! For fixing my plan for free! And being just hassle-free. For talking to me like an intelligent human being. You don't see that too often. Thanks for hustling to get me out of there. Without making me feel hustled. So thanks. Thanks. <sighs> thanks for doing the right thing by not just selling me tires. Welcome. Les Schwab Tires. Doing the right thing matters. All right, we look back at last week. Five mother load league teams remain undefeated as we start league. I can't remember in all the years that I've been doing this that that many teams were still undefeated going into week five of the season. Sonora remained perfect, defeating Hillmar 37-27. Kane Rogers threw three touchdown passes in the first half all to Josh Harris. Rogers capped it off with a 79-yard bomb to Bergamashi to finish the scoring for the Wildcats this week. Sonora travels to a big, big mother load league game to Calaveras, who also sits at 4-0. Calaveras had a pretty easy time of Union Mine last week in our game of the week. Kyle Bird threw for three touchdowns, giving him seven on the year, and Noah Pruce, who was our uh, player of the game continued his dominance, and J.D. has the call. So a split and a Z to the far side, and they fake to the Z back, hand a quick counter up the middle to Pruce. Pruce takes it off the right guard. He takes it up the sideline to the 20, to the 10, into the end zone, and that is going to be our utility telecom call of the game. Noah Pruce on a quick counter inside, takes it off the right side, and runs that ball for about 45 yards for the second score of the ball game for Calaveras High School. Bruce would finish with 126 yards and two touchdowns, and Tanner Josie's added 106 yards and a touchdown. Gian Grangorio, he finished with 106 yards receiving on only four receptions and two touchdowns. Argonaut was on a bye last week as they put their 3-0 record on the line as they open league play hosting Bret Hart. It's homecoming for the Mustangs, and that'll be our game of the week, so we hope you're going to join us for that. Bret Hart, probably the biggest surprise of the league this year, at least for me, coming into this contest with a 3-0 record after defeating Highlands last week, 55-24. We don't really know too much about Bret Hart. Haven't seen a lot of statistics, really don't know what they like to do, who their players are, so this is going to be our first chance to take a look at Bret Hart this week. Amador was also on a bye last week. They also start league action at 3-0 as they travel down to Linden. The Amador defense, one note, is they have only allowed 13 points on the entire year through three games. Linden finally gets in the win column with a 39-7 beating of LeGrand. Linden rushed for 390 yards in the game, led by Hunter White, who had 284 all-purpose yards, 190 rushing and three touchdowns on the night, so a terrific night for Hunter White. Somerville, well, they have a bye this week. There's seven teams in the Mother Load League, so every week there will be one team that does not play a league game. So Somerville's on a bye this week after beating Houston last week by a score of 20-13. to 13. They get back in the win column after dropping their first game the week before. Luke Fulkerson led the way for Somerville with 147 yards on the game and two touchdowns. Somerville sits at 3-1. and one. Well, that's where we're at going into Mother Load League 1. League action week one. It's going to be a couple great games. Like I said, it's going to be Argonauts homecoming. We're going to be there for this week's game of the week, and I hope you're there with us.